Hello everyone, Danny here and I am back with another kettlebell session for us to do this week. I hope you enjoyed last week's, got some really good comments about these leggings, so that's why I've got them back on again, everyone's enjoying the leggings. Um, so I thought, thought I'd uh, wear them again this week while we do our kettlebell session. Now what we're going to be doing is seven different exercises, yep, seven different exercises, 30 seconds each, 25 seconds rest, and then a minute's rest at the end of each round. We're doing three rounds once again. So I'm going to run through, I'm going to tell you what the exercises are, we'll do a warm up together, and then we will get started into the session. If you need to take a little bit longer, do a few extra warm ups, then just pause the video at any point and come back into it uh, when you need to. That's the joy of doing videos like this. Now we're just going to put some music and let's get started so what we're going to be doing for this session is we're going to be doing swings to start off with but what we're doing which is a variation of last time uh, take my kettlebell here is we are going to be doing single handed swings so remember it's keeping that back nice and straight you're allowed to bend over but you're just keeping your back straight so there's a difference between me bending over like that and me bending over like that and arching my back Keep your back straight, you use your glutes and use your thighs to thrust out that kettlebell, get it up into the air. It is not an arm exercise, okay? So remember, you're going down and you're pushing out. You're pushing out, just like that. Okay, so you're just getting it out. So we're going to be doing that right hand side and then left hand side. Then we're going to be doing press ups. As I said to you in the very first video, we've done press ups is a staple of what we're going to be doing. We won't be doing it every single week. But we will be doing it most weeks. So we're going to be doing press ups. If you have to do it on your knees, do it on your knees. If you can do them normally, do them normally. Remember, it is about quality, it is not about quantity. So make sure that even if you're just holding it at the top and just holding that position, then that still is good and it's still going to be burning fat. So make sure, rather than you just trying to half do press ups uh, and not really doing them properly, not doing yourself any good, just take your time and on quality instead of quantity. Then we're doing a kettlebell crunch. What you're doing in the kettlebell crunch is you are feet right up as close to your bum as you can. You're holding the kettlebell and you are just, as soon as you leave the ground, literally as soon as your head starts to move, push all the air out of your body and you are crunching that stomach together. So you can see, I'll show you here. You've got your kettlebell, you're holding it, just levitating it there just above your stomach, feet nice and close to the bum and you are just And you can see, I'm not going all the way up, but I'm going up enough that all the air leaves my body and my stomach crunches together. Just there, see? That's what we're going to be doing, kettlebell crunch. Then you're going to be going into kettlebell squats, which is the usual, doing squats, except just holding the kettlebell by the horns, elbows tucked in, and you are just nice and slow, down, 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 and bringing yourself back up again. Just nice kettlebell squats. Then we're going to be doing mountain climbers, Mountain climbers like we've done on one of our hit sessions before, just down on the ground, hands down, and you are just drilling those feet, as you can see, into the chest. Get a nice steady rhythm, don't go full pelt at the start and then burn out towards the end. Just get a nice steady rhythm, keep them going, and then we are finishing with a 30 second plank. Hands together, tight forearms, nice flat body, and just holding it for those 30 seconds. And then that's it. So that's our seven exercises. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna warm up, and then we're going to get into doing that. So, what you have to do, starting off, feet shoulder width apart, what I'm going to get you to do is just arms out and you are going and touching your opposite ankle. So we're just going down, touch, trying to keep those legs as straight as you can. And just out, just touching that ankle, other arm going up into the air. Just down and touch. Oh, nice stretch on the back of the leg and you're stretching your arm as you're lifting it up into the sky as well. Get a nice stretch on the whole of your body. Oh, a couple more. One and two. Okay, there we go. Right, what you're going to be doing next is on your arms up, just the chest height. You're just going to be doing a twist and just doing it twice on one side and switching to the other, okay? Just going round. One, two, and round. One, two. And again. Two, and again. And again. Oh, okay, just stretching out that back, get a good twist, and yourself starting. Good. A few more. There, and there, and good. Right, next one you're going to be doing, you'll be taking your left arm up onto the right shoulder, and 
and you're just going to be resting your arm on top of it, just giving yourself a nice little pull, just to start to stretch up the backs of your arms, okay? Put my shorts down, look like an old man, here we go. So you're just using that, just stretching the back of that arm, just give yourself 10 seconds. And then you're just going to lean into it, stretch up the side of your body. Shake it off and swap sides over to the other side. Just grabbing that elbow. Ooh. Start to feel where you're tight doing stuff like this. Go. Don't push too much into it. If you're feeling a bit sore, just a light pull, just enough, and you can just keep releasing the tension and then just pushing it back in again. Releasing that tension, just getting that stretch in your muscles and lean into it. And then get that stretch right up the body. And shake it off. Good. Last one, you might need a surface, or you might be able to do a free hand, totally up to you. What you're going to do is just grab your foot, keep them nice and close together. You can see my feet are now to that apart. They're still tight together where my thighs are. And you're just holding that. What I want you to do is just hold it for 10 seconds, and then when I say go, you're going to push against your hand, let go, and just kick your leg right out. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, good. Right, and swap it over to the other side. There we go, do this one freehand. Just get the balance. Just holding, just a little bit of pressure against your hand, just kicking against it. And then in three, two, one, and push. We'll do it one more time. And grab the other foot again. Again, a little bit less this time round. And three, two, one. Get that left hand side again. Just get up and edge, keeping that tension. So you keep those legs together as much as you can. While you're keeping it together tighter, just getting to the top of you, just stretching that muscle out. So you ready? Three, two, one. And kick out. Good. Right, so now that we should be warmed up, as I said, if you want to do some more warm-ups, that's fine, pause the video. If not, then you have got 20 seconds and then we are going to get started. Alright, so here we go. So we're going to get ourselves started here with the single hand swings. Remember, keeping that back nice and straight. One hand, I'm starting off my right. Don't allow the other hand to get involved. We are out and pushing that up. You can see there my back staying nice and straight. You're bending over, but you're keeping your back straight. You're not allowing it to arch. And then just thrusting it out with your glutes. Pushing that up there. Good. Keep it going. Halfway through already. Oh. It's always hard to do the double swings last time. It's hard to then switch to a single swing. You're doing well. Keep it going. Good. Oh, good. <coughs> right, so we're going to be doing left hand side next. As I said, just keeping that back straight. You're going down, keeping it flat. You can see I'm not arching down to swing. You're keeping it flat and throwing it out with the glutes. Using the glutes with the top legs. If your arms are hurting at the end of this, you're not doing it right. Tops of your legs, glutes should be sore. There we go. And make it down the arm out for balance. Don't allow it to rest on your leg. You want to keep it up. You're looking to get the kettlebell up to around about eye level. Good. Go on, keep it going. In the last few seconds now. Oh, right. Next thing we've got is our press ups. So, press ups are a little leveler, like, hey, hey, doing press ups, but they're good for you, really good for being able to help right across your chest, give you a nice strong pet, so they're helping your shoulders as well, and your biceps. Um, they're hard to do, do them on your knees, do them on your toes if you need to, make sure you're not bobbing like a duck. Uh, make sure you've got a nice strong form. Are you ready? There we go. And 
see I'm not going too fast. It's quality or quantity, that's what it's all about. I don't care how many you do, as long as they're good form and you do them. Don't have your hands up too high. Make sure you're getting down nice and low. Whole body, not just one part. See, there, last little bit. There we go. Oh, I hate press. Right, so kettlebell crunch, remember, getting your feet nice and close to your bone. Kettlebell just hovering above your elbows in nice and tight. And you're just blowing all the air out of you, lifting yourself up. You can feel when your legs are out of the air, your stomach's nice and loose. When they're coming in the air, it's nice and tight. So that's why we have it nice and tight the whole time. Pick up the kettlebell. And then hovering. And... Feel the kettlebells heavy on the arms. It's working your stomach and you're lifting yourself up. Oh, stretch out if you need to. Really force that body up. Push all the air out of you. Last one. Good. Oh, nice. We've got our kettlebell squats now. Give the arms a break for a minute. Oh. So we're going to be holding that kettlebell, just holding it by the horns. Nice deep squat, hold it for a second at the bottom. Lift yourself back up nice and straight. Tighten up those glutes at the back when you're up. Oh, here we go. Alright, put up the kettlebell. Elbows in nice and tight together. Yeah. Climbers, remember keep a nice steady pace. Don't allow yourself to start arching up. Just keep yourself nice and flat. Get a nice steady pace and you run. And then we're finishing them with a plank after that. So it's a nice mix this workout. Probably doesn't know what it's doing. There we go. So it's nice steady pace, keep it going. Drilling those knees up to the chest. Keep pushing it. Pushing your feet all the way back. And allow yourself to arch. Ah, oh, good. Oh, good. Now we're going to finish with a plank, okay? So, so four arms nice and tight together, interlock your fingers if you need to, and you just hold that position nice and flat, 30 seconds. I won't be talking during this because it's hard to talk and work out at the same time, especially when doing a plank. So, here we go. Nice deep breaths. Seconds left. Five, four, three. Good. Oh. Alright, that's us. Minutes break, then we get back to it.
Alright, 10 seconds left, and I'm straight back into it, back into these single arm swings. And then a nice straight back, push out of the glutes. There we go, we've had a good drink of water. And off we go. If you feel that you're flagging towards the end, it's because you're not using your glutes enough. You to force them out, tighten up those glutes at the back. It's good. Keep it going. Oh, good. Oh, flying through it, not a bother. It's good to get this done. Doesn't take too long to do. You get a shower, do your warm up, do your cool down, you get a shower, do the workouts, all the rest of it. it. Takes you about an hour. You're back lying down on your couch. You're feeling so much better for it. All right, there you go, left hand side. And down, push those glutes. You can see how I'm doing a slight bend in the knee, slight bend in the back. I'm just enabling you. You get that momentum to force that kettlebell out. So I'm keep it going. I know it's hard. Sweating those glutes. Good. Oh. And straight from that into the press ups. Now, at this point, second set in, especially the next set, you think to yourself, why on earth did you do this, you monster? To do swings and then press ups straight after, but it's worth it. Really working those arms, really putting pressure on them. I'll do it on the knees this time so you can see. Knees is just as hard if you're doing it properly. And going down, whole body going down. Quiet, keep focusing. Good. Right, time for your kettlebell crunch. You're staying on the ground. Oh, good. Hope you're feeling alright doing this. It's tough enough, but worth pushing yourself through it. There we go, lift that kettlebell up, and going from all arms to suddenly just involving that core a little bit and then suddenly we're moving down for the legs now we're just shopping the body doesn't quite know what it's doing just keeping it guessing all the time and to rush that blood around your system and to burn fat burn calories Big breath in on the way down. Big breath out the way up. There we go. Legs are starting to burn at this point. Last one. Good. We've got our mountain climbers and our plank left to go. And then that's set two. Flying through this, don't bother to you. Come on. Keep pushing it. Oh. Remember, keep a nice steady pace with these mountain climbers. I don't want you 
go a full pelt and bend down towards the end. Nice steady pace, keep it a good moderate pace. There we go. Keep pushing it. Come on, keep it going. Come on, 10 seconds left. Come on, you got more in the tank than that. Good. Oh, it's hard. You start to slow down, but you've got to get in your own head. Tell yourself you can do more than what you, you think you can. Keep pushing yourself. Right into this plank. Nice tight forearms again. And together, nice flat body. Remind yourself to arch up, keep yourself nice and low, engage that stomach. And here we go. And up. Oh. Nice and tight. Feel that core tightening in. Big deep breaths. That's a little bit, a little drop now. Keep it going. Good. Oh, that's set two. Grab yourself a drink of water. Grab yourself a quick sit down. We'll start back again in a second. Alright, 10 seconds left and we're going to go again, final set now, so everything in it, everything we're doing, we're doing for the final time, so enjoy it, and let's get doing it. Alright, it'll be kettlebell, and you are, swing. Use those glutes, remember, glutes and thighs, nice and tight, portion out the kettlebell. Don't allow your arms to get involved, they're just there to hold the kettlebell. Keep pushing it, Good, keep going. Keep pushing, come on, don't allow yourself to slack now. You use those glutes, fire it out. Good. Good. Whew. All right, so last time on the right arm. Got the left now to go. Remember, keeping that back nice and tight. And just forcing it out, tighten those glutes, tighten those legs. Something I definitely need to work on my glutes. So that's good. This exercise really helps with that. Same with the squats. Uh, let's go. And uh, we're off. Oh, come on, keep it going. Keep that on for balance, don't let it rest. Come on, force those glutes out, come on. Come on, last few. Get those glutes ready working. Oh, good. Oh, right. That swing's done. We are press ups. Press ups now. As I said, either on the knees or on your toes. Get all the body down at the same time. Don't be a bob and duck. Here we go. Doing well. Keep going. Don't too long to give up now. You can put a number in your mind and go for it. Come 
Oh, that's cute. Right. The next one is the crunch. So staying down, feet close together. You know this by now. Feet close to the glutes. Kettlebell just hovering over the top. There we go. All that air out. Maybe forcing yourself up, make that stomach crunch. Last one. Good. Oh, good. All right, now we've got our squats. Oh, so nice deep squats. You're nice and loose at this point. You're holding that kettlebell by the horns. Nice deep squat. Hold it for a second at the bottom. Push out. Blast yourself up. Explosive movement at the bottom. Controlled on the way down. Explosive on the way up. Here we go. Elbows nice and tight. Now it's going to take glue to the top. Everything you can into it, come on. It's the last time we're doing this. And last one. Good. Right, that's the end of our kettlebell now. Yeah, we've got our mountain climbers and we've got our plank and then we are done for the day. Done well, you're stuck with me. Well done. If you've had to pause a couple of times, that's okay. As long as you get through it, make sure you finish the video. Here we go. Come on, keep it going. as tired as you are now, reach in, come on, empty that tank, come on, last a little bit, come on, oh, oh, it's tough, that was good, well done, you kept the pace all the way through that there, you know, our plan to finish now, nice and solid, finish strong here, don't allow yourself to give up, nice deep breaths, Nice solid line. Finish strong here. Come on. Do it together. And up. It's a nice big breath. Listen to the music. Halfway through now. Keep it strong. Come on. Last 10 seconds. Come on, empty that tank. I know it's hard, but come on, we'll do it. Oh, oh that was good. Oh, good. Well done. Well done for everyone who stayed with me there. It was a good, tough session that way. The whole body there, but it was good. Now, as I said, make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you comment on it. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you thought of the varied exercises. And obviously, most important thing I can tell you is that we can do these exercises all day, but unless you've got a healthy diet that goes alongside it, it's pointless. So make sure you're getting your eating sorted as well. Make sure you're working just as hard on your eating as you are on these sessions. So let me know what you thought. Oh, I'll see you next time.